It's cautious play. How y'all doing? It's good. Beautiful. This is my friend Chris here on guitar. This is a song we're going to do called High Risk Travel. Cautious Clay, live on 89.7 WTMD. So nice to have you here. Oh, thanks that for having me. That sounded great. We appreciate yeah. that. You know, I got to tell you, um, since quarantine and COVID, we're kind of just getting back into doing some live sessions here. Nice. And this is the biggest crowd I've seen yet. So, yeah. Thank you for coming out, y'all. Yeah. It's really nice to have you here. So uh, did you spend some time in this area did you go to school in dc so yeah i went to school in dc at uh gw actually in 2015 nice. i graduated and yeah shout yeah. out gw so and then you took off to new york where believe it or not he worked in a real estate firm yeah what what did you go to new york to take the job or did yeah. you want to be in a more so I, I, t I actually went to New York to take a job. I worked in real estate for the first time actually in the DMV area, um, if anyone knows. Maybe this is a, not. I shouldn't say this, but I used to work at Bazudo, if anyone oh knows yeah. that company. So did my brother. So uh, yeah, <laughs> hey, look at that, you know? And uh, so I started a job here and got fired from Bazudo and then, uh, <laughs> and then uh, left there and found a job sort of in a similar space in New York. Uh, and yeah, was sort of working on the opposite side of things, but I was like kind of trying to, basically work with management companies to like, you know, so I'd give them cookies and do all these things, uh, you know, it was a sales job, you know, so that was my thing for Did a bit. Did you sort of, w so it wasn't your intention to like go there and find a music scene to get in with or sort was of, that part yeah. of it? Yeah, like I, I had sort of met some friends. I've been going up to New York every once in a while and like DJing and doing random stuff in New York, like kind of throughout college. And so it was sort of my... I was getting a taste for it, and then I was like, you know what? Maybe I'll take this job in New York. See if there's a way to like network and do stuff in New York. And so that's kind of that was kind of my my push to do that was finding that job. So yeah, um, it was real estate neat for like a year there too. So 
Well, yeah. I'm glad it worked out that way. We yeah. all are. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, <girl>. <laughs> um, So, 89.7 WTMD, we've got Cautious Clay here with us, and he's going to play another tune. Yes, yeah, so this is a song off of uh, my upcoming, it's a fourth EP called Thin Ice on the Cake, and it's a song called Camp Anonymous. Disrespectfully, there's nothing special left here for me. Could get it next day delivery from somebody named Natalie. A couple demons that I'm battling. I had a dream I was a dad to be, but they came already mad at me. It was the happiest tragedy. Your ego is irrelevant when you're not the only elephant. Trying to find its element But I knew exactly what I was looking for yeah. Till I wasn't sure I misunderstood I feel seen and not heard There's green in my blood I feel like but not left I misunderstood And the timing's no good for anybody, cause everybody wanna be somebody else It's easier to say that I'm anonymous When it don't feel good, when it don't feel right No, I don't wanna be in your side anymore So I got some new shoes I'm running my base A mental picture of a time and a place That I got on my mind I know somebody in their prime but change isn't really relevant when you're not the only elephant that's dying in their element. But I knew exactly what I was looking for, yeah. till I needed more. I'm misunderstood, I feel seen and not heard. There's green in my blood, I feel like but not I misunderstood and the timing's no good for anybody cause everybody wanna be somebody else You're moving it slowly but you still act the worst is going on you around me Yeah You're moving it slowly but I won't let you take the time to get to know me Whoa. I'm misunderstood and the timing's no good Anonymous, yeah. Cautious Clay on yeah. 89.7 WTMD, live in studio. Um, you know, I, I've i heard your music described as R&B, R&B fusion, indie pop, bedroom pop. <laughs> uh, the, yeah. I mean, the yeah. list goes on and on. But I, I've also, I recently read where someone had called you... Um, Genre adverse. Yeah, I feel like I'm, that make that makes a lot of sense to me. Yeah, I feel very much connected to that. I think um, my experience with music in general has has always been very vast, and so I try to draw from sort of like specific productions, specific kind of like musical like writing styles. I think I think that's really where I I draw so much of a connection to the music I make, and so yeah. I can sort of have a song sort of like, you know, Wildfire and then a song like <coughs> Karma and Friends and they you know, sound completely different. But I think for me, it's sort of like creating a mood and a template and then going from there as, as in sort of sort of the wheelhouse of, of what I what I find interesting. And, I, and, I, and to be honest, it's like, yeah, I, I try not to the like music is here to, to be shared and it's here to be like inspiring. And so I never like try to be like, oh, one type of music is not my style of music, you know. I love that. Yeah. Um, it's very inclusive. Yeah, I'm trying my best. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm curious, though, like within the music industry, 
does that work for or against you? It's an interesting question. I mean, I think I think it's um, for me. I've I've always wanted to just do things on my terms at my speed, and so I've I've kind of looked at it as sort of a long game in the context of like what I'm making the music for, and, and I'm I'm making it sort of like to be inclusive and, and and inspiring in many different ways, and so I I try not to be like, okay, well if I'm gonna be an R and B singer, I can't be playing the flute, or you know <laughs> if I'm gonna be like a folk guy, I can't like have a song with a backbeat, you know. So I just I just I think I just want to make what I want to make and hope that people connect to it in, in whatever way that they can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I love that. And I think it it makes it more interesting for us. Yeah. Um, so thank you. Of course. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's a, it's a mutual agreement, you know. <laughs> so. Cautious Clay live in the 89.7 WTMD Performance Studio. So this is a song uh, I wrote on guitar mostly and sort of been a little bit of a fan favorite um, on the last album, it's called Wildfire. Yeah. Yes. Your eyes are like weapons, your lips could teach lessons, don't use them so reckless, cause for you I'm held. You gotta take caution You know that I'm falling The chance of me falling You know that it's soft and But if you don't wanna stay Then please stop moving this way You're starting up a wildfire in my heart Hope it's my true one not just what you do You're starting up a wildfire in my head Hope it's what you mean Not just what you do This love is so costly It's killing me softly Don't know what to call it This thing that you started You make it look easy the way that you eat burn into the fire, babe. Are you coming with me? Yeah. But if you don't want to stay, then please stop moving this way. You're starting up a wildfire in my heart. Hope it's what you want, not just what you do. You're starting up a wildfire in my head Hope it's what you may Not just what you do Yeah Wildfire. That is such a great tune. Thank, Thank you. you so yeah. much. Cautious Clay live on 89.7 WTMD. I'm Carrie Evans. And um, well, I have to ask you as a multi-instrumentalist flute player, were you jealous when Lizzo got to play James Madison's <laughs> glass flute? Honestly, yeah. I mean, I didn't even know it existed before she played <laughs> yeah. it. So I was kind of like, oh, wow. I didn't know that was a thing. So I mean, yeah, I'm very curious to play that. Yeah. I don't know. Goals. Uh, but then, but then, you know, as soon as I, I break it, then, you know, <laughs> then it's a whole other question mark, right? 
Um, you know, I think a lot of people, a lot of people I know I've talked to are surprised to find out that uh, you have worked with artists like Billie Eilish, that uh, you are one of only two artists whose music has been interpolated in to Taylor Swift's music, yeah. Yeah. which is <laughs> awesome. It's, yeah, definitely. Um, and Crazy. you started out collaborating with John Mayer. Yeah. I yeah. have two questions for you on that front. How did you come to know John Mayer, and are you going on tour with Dead and Company? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, honestly, this is their last tour, so I, I uh -huh. feel like it might be a little, a little late for that, but... <laughs> You never know. You never know. He's uh he certainly will we'll 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 have chats every once in a while and catch up and things. So there's always that possibility. But I think um we actually met through Instagram uh back in like twenty eighteen and uh I think you just saw a video I posted and was like really inspired and I was like, Hey man, like appreciate the love. Who started following who? He started following me. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Yeah, and I was like, Oh, <laughs> all right. You know, I'm, I'm I'm no clout chaser, so I was just like, oh, okay. No, but it was cool. He's he's like super awesome, very nice guy, and so it was really shocking to be like, okay, you know, getting some some love from somebody like that who's such a legend. And so we kind of we just arranged a time to meet up, and then we kind of just have been in touch now for years. But you know, working on songs together like "Swim Home," which is um, a song we wrote together for my for my EP, and then I actually worked on. His last project, um, I worked on a song called Carry Me Away. So there's like, my voice in the background is like at the very like <laughs> last part of that song. So it's just like, you know, we'll just kind of like hit each other up and work on stuff. And he's always been such a, just a great kind of like mentor and figure and just like friend. So yeah, no, it's it's been very organic in that way. But then, um, yeah, we've never like actually toured together. I was, he came onto my show a few times, but you know, hasn't been like any always been a little like a surprise thing you know mm -hmm. so you're, yeah. you're giving john marison good press here i know right <laughs> I'm, I'm really i'm really helping out his his legacy right <laughs> yeah. you know i i'm curious to know where how where did you work did you did you get together in a studio yeah was this something you were doing from different sides of the country no or? so we we came together in a studio in la and I, I live in new york but then i was just like traveling and working and stuff and so we just found a time to work out of a studio that he works out of a lot and then um yeah it's kind of that's like usually how it would happen but um yeah it was really organic and like he just has like his little setup and then I have my setup and then we started the idea there and then I came back and then finished it up on my own um but yeah that was how Swim Home came together and then and then it got picked up for a for a tv show randomly mm -hmm. and then that was like Cool. All right. Another just really fortunate, cool, random thing to happen. But um, yeah, no, he's he's very sweet. And then, I mean, the Taylor Swift thing is very similarly. Like I was on tour, and then I got a call from her team being like, "We want to use this song in in a song that she was working." Had on. you met so her, or no, did you? No. No. I still haven't met her. Wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've never. I don't know what she. Yeah, I don't know. But it was. It so was you weird. don't know how she heard your song. I have no idea. Yeah. yeah. And I know, but I know for a fact, because I met Jack Antonoff one time, and he, I think they yeah. worked together on that project, and he told me, he's like, yeah, I think she just really liked it and just wanted to sample it. And I was like, cool. Sometimes <laughs> it's that simple. <laughs> but then uh, but then it's also funny because, like, I also got hate for for, for that wow. from her fans. And I was just like, oh, okay, I didn't do I This wasn't my decision here, you know? But I, I it was like I got a lot of love, and then I got some hate, and then I was like, okay, well. You know, it all just equals out. So, right. You know, it's just it's, there it's is the, no the bad press. Funny place. No, exactly. <laughs> I don't take any of that personal. So. Yeah. yeah. Well, th I think that's really great, and um, you know, I think it speaks to how your music talks to so many different people and is relatable to so many different people, even working in different genres of music. Yeah. Um, no, definitely. I mean, I, I feel like, uh, you know. I very much draw a lot of inspiration from, I mean, it's, it's just, there's just so many people who have done that, but I think for me, um, and I don't even think my music sounds like Stevie Wonder, but obviously he's the goat of songwriting <laughs> in my opinion because he can make songs that sound 
so accessible, but then have such a depth and complexity to them. And that's what I always try to aspire to do, you know? So that's kind of like where I come from in, in, the, in, the, in the context of like genreless music. You know? I love that. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Cautious Clay on 89.7 WTMD. Awesome. So yeah, we got we got one more song. It's a song called Puffer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm trying to get comfortable on this stool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, nah, nah, nah. Ready? Yeah. <sighs> Outside on the inside, I'm a slow drive in a little boat at low tide. I'm only looking after one side, I just want to let it sink in. But the wind don't hit like it used to. Hurry up and wait for the sequel. Cause everyone's alone, mm. but it's the meaning that you have. Like a flower in the sun, yeah. But I just wanna grow, 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 running right, right, right. Running from the worst side of my own conscience on a ride in a little boat at low tide. I'm only looking out to one side. I know if I let it sink in, I miss bad trips, stupid refuse. This time wait still true to Cause everyone's alone Yeah But it's the meaning that you are Like a flower in the sun I just wanna grow, grow, grow And it right, right, right It's the meaning that you are Like a flower in the sun I just want to go, go, go oh. Thank you so much. Cautious Clay, live on 89.7 WTMD. Thanks so much for coming and joining us today, Cautious. And I know you were here in 2019. Yeah. Uh, you played a first Thursday. Who was there? We did. We did. Who was there? Yeah? And um, I just, I'm just i going to put you on the spot and just say you're invited back oh, in 2023. I'd love to be back. <laughs> Uh, thanks again. Thanks so much for coming. Thanks for coming out today and enjoying some Cautious Clay with us. That was Cautious Clay live on 89.7 WTMD. Back to you, Paul.